Hello YouTube, it is me CJM and I am back with another video. So last video I did was Rust with Friends. I have about like five hours dead into like a nice like 10 minute to five minute clip of us doing raids and a bunch of good shit. So I don't know when I'm gonna do edit that. I need to go get editing software. But for now, y'all know I've been playing a lot of Rust League. We have like 126 hours into the game. Alright. As of right now. And I've been, I like to build a lot. So I came up with this little base. It combines like two bases that I know, which is honeycomb and uh, furnace bases. So I combined those two together and then added my own design to it and then added in a refinery. So, and this base is absolutely phenomenal. I like it, okay? So I'm going to be basically using this app called fortify and basically what it allows you to do is let you do uh, blueprints of bases before you can like do them so I can show you right now that's the base that we're going to do all right this is this is the base that we're gonna do this base exactly just forget the walls though the walls just throw them out we don't need the walls just clear it all and get right into it so what you're going to want to first do is try to find like a flat land to build on. You're going to absolutely need flat land. Nothing else, just flat land. So then you place down your furnace and then you'll place down your foundations. So for the foundations, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to like, say I was a person, right? And I got my building plan out and you're gonna have to line it up and then back up just just back up like line it up get it at the right height and then just start backing up until you got it to where you want it which you're probably gonna want it to that distance in the game all right so this these measurements on this is not absolutely perfect on fortify but if you were in rust you'd want about like that much a dis uh, distance okay not a lot uh, not a lot but not too much so then you're gonna place down the, these. Or correction, I am going to change these to metal fragments. So your floor base is probably gonna be metal fragments. Hopefully it is. Foundation steps. Next you're going to add those in. Add that. And then add these two. And now comes your refinery. Your refinery is going to go into this area right there. I said it's going to be a tight fit. So just make sure that you place these two down, right? You're going to place these two down. And then you're going to place this. Then you're going to place these. Just make sure it fits first. And don't upgrade them to metal until you have the whole base outline. So it should be all wood before you upgrade all these to metal. Steps. Go. So that's the whole like bottom base. So let's uh, change it to walls. And our walls are going to be stone all the way around. So let's do that. So that, that's your next part, okay? You're just going to make this part right here. Then you're going to have to get doorways. So this is where the honeycombing comes into play. It has its own airlock, so that's good. But you're going to place a doorway in every single spot you need to. And that that your bottom floor is done uh, so now all you have to do is add in all the doors and your code locks 
to all of these. So I'm not going to be doing that just because I can save time in the video. So let's uh, start this up. Floor frame, floors are all going to be uh, sheet metal and all the walls are going to be stone. So hatchet. And when you place down your hatch, you're going to have to put a code lock on it just because it's safer. Floor. And now I'm going to put a middle barricade right there. So now that's your next floor, okay? So now we're going to go back to the walls and put them as stone. And now since we're at it, I'm just going to add in this a doorway and a cupboard and you're gonna put a door on that and there you go you got your nice little area so this is the second floor uh, don't don't I almost forgot let's put stone walls all the way around this and the floor frames you're gonna put a floor frame right there and a floor frame right here slap a hatch right there and slap a hatch right here next comes in the triangles again one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two one two so next we're going to add in the floors which is this 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 and this so now we have the whole complete bottom floor. So if you come down here, that's the only way you can get into the floor frame, I guess, space. You're gonna put code locks on that and this. And let's start with these windows. So next layer, window right there, window right there, two in, two in the back, one on the side. And then inside those windows, you're going to put window bars and shutters. So let's begin the next part of the wall. Which is going to look like this. You're going to put the wall lows on. That's what it's going to look like. And next, you're going to put the metal floor frame with a hatchet on it. And now, you're going to start adding the floor again. So, this. And then, you add the floors again right now you put the wall low make them stone and then add these walls and now you have something that looks like this but we're not finished so sheet metal triangle floor and now you have this next part you're gonna put three triangles Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not going to count this because I already counted, started counting it later. So now you have a complete base. So this this is almost complete. You have a complete base with walls. So let's add the high external walls, which are going to look something like this. Okay, so now put these around. And when you're actually in the game, you're going to connect them. I'm just doing a rough estimate. So when you're actually there, you're going to connect these. Okay, you're going to put this as close as possible to that, which I will do right now now there but they're all going to connect they're all going to connect in a circle as long as you have them close enough it's going to be a very tight tight squeeze for all these walls so there we go we have a complete base now we can add extras like let's go to floors let's add in a century gun right here. So they blow up your two doors, you have a sentry gun to blow them down or mow them down. And then you have some people to collect loot off of. Right? So all these are going to have doors on them. So let's uh put some stuff in here real quick. Let's try to get like a decent base going with loot for us to put in. So let's uh, grab some sleeping bags. We need to be able to spawn here. And then you're going to put a chest in that one, in this one, in this one, next floor. So, again, shelves. You're going to put the shelves right there, right here. I'm going to put the large boxes already on. Shelves. So now, we got all the things that I wanted to add to it. Let's go down to the main floor. Now, you can put a extra chest right here. And you can put a campfire in that corner. Or you can switch it up and put the campfire right there and a chest right there. Right? Or if you really, really, really want to save some space or convert it, you can put another chest. And then put a campfire right there, right there, right here. Almost anywhere you want. This is your base, okay? So this is my base to help y'all have a base to protect yourselves in and everything. So th this is what it's going to be like. It, it looks cool, looks really secure, and you can always add in some other things. As this one, I don't really need to show this too much, but as you can see, I already have the doors on this one. But you can put this gate to high external walls going out six of them going down, six of them going that way, and five in the back. And that way you have a complete base with absolutely everything you want to have in it. So this is the video. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Comment what you want to see me play next. I will be doing another GTA video and it should be Electric Man versus Flash because I remember seeing down in the comments, I saw it, is that someone wanted to happen.
because Electric Man is completely dominant towards any people, I think. And I don't know if uh, Flash is going to be able to handle the power of Electric Man or Electro. So, we'll see. I'm pretty sure he's going to die and he's going to lose. So. But we can always check. We can always double check. That's the whole point of it. But yeah, so, I said, comment what you want to see next. Or what you want me to see me play. Like if you haven't. And subscribe if you haven't. So, I will see y'all in the next video I do. So, peace, people.